Breaking news updates coming in and in the latest in the Kodanad case, Madras High Court has dismissed the petition filed by witness opposing further investigations in the case. The court observed that the petition has no say in the case as he is only a witness and no local standa in opposing further investigation. Tamil Nadu government has started its investigation in the Kodanad case. Remember, meanwhile, former CM EPS has opposed the move stating that it's an attempt to fix him in the case. Remember, back in 2017, 10 people broke into the Kodanad bungalow owned by late CM JJ Lalitha and Sasikala, killing the security guard and stealing valuables. So this is the latest that is coming in, which uh, in a case which has become the latest flashpoint between the Tamil Nadu government and the AIA DMK, the opposition, the main opposition in the state, where uh, now the latest that we have is that Madras High Court has dismissed a petition which was seeking a stay on the probe. Remember that uh, the war of words which had broken out between AIA DMK and DMK in this matter was that while DMK said that they are following court procedure as far as this case is concerned. AIA DMK on the other hand said that this is part of pol vendetta politics the fact that they believe this case is being used to get back at AIA DMK leaders like E Palani Sami that was the main contention of AIA DMK with regard to this case but at the moment the main breaking update coming in is that Madras High Court has dismissed a plea seeking a stay on this high profile probe Let me go across to my colleague Mugilan. Mugilan, uh, what we can in fact see is that the High Court has stayed this petition seeking, uh, in fact dismissed rather this uh, petition seeking a stay on the probe. What kind of, what we do know is in fact I was just telling our viewers that this has uh, become a politically significant probe. Take us through why it matters. Why is, is this case so politically significant in Tamil Nadu at the moment? Uh, definitely, this Madras High Court uh, ruling comes as a very big setback for uh, ADMK, especially EPS, because from uh, from the day one when the DMK government started reinvestigating this case, we have seen kind of protests that have been staged by the ADMK. We even saw ADMK boycotting the assembly session, going to the governor uh, for this issue, and we even saw uh, Edapadi Palanichami not only once, at least twice say, that DMK is trying to fix him in this case and that is why they have started reinvestigating the case. This is a case as related to the robbery and uh, uh, murder which happened in Jaidalita summer resort in Kodanad in 2017 and following that there were several issues which uh, created doubts, uh, 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 doubt but ADMK maintained that the investigation in this case is over and there is no need for DMK to reopen this case and probe this matter. But D, uh, DMK, after coming back to the power, they reopened the case. They even uh, summoned the A2 in this case and the uh, investigation went on for more than three hours in Neil Greece and, D, and the government maintained that they have new uh, information to probe this matter. So with all this uh, coming in place, now we are seeing the Madras High Court also giving go-ahead for the uh, Tamil Nadu government to go to reinvestigate the case and very importantly uh, what we are hearing is that the Tamil Nadu state government has also uh, hinted of uh, inquiring Sashikala in this matter because Sashikala is also a proprietor of the Kodanadu case so uh, now the government has also uh, hinted that Sashikala also right. might be uh, summoned for inquiry so far the Tamil Nadu state the, uh, Tamil Nadu police have uh, inquired 41 witnesses in this case. Right, Mughalan, thank you so much for joining us with this breaking update coming in from the Madras High Court.